Understanding the phrase, under the weather. Hello and welcome, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a popular English idiom, under the weather. This phrase is commonly used, but what does it really mean? And where did it come from? Let's dive in and clear the fog. When someone says they are under the weather, they're not talking about being physically under the sky or clouds. Instead, they mean they're feeling slightly unwell or not at their best health-wise. It's important to note that this phrase is often used to describe minor illnesses like a cold or a slight fever, not serious or long-term conditions. The phrase, under the weather, has a fascinating origin, believed to be from nautical or maritime sources. In the old sailing days, if a sailor felt sick, they would often go below deck to protect themselves from the weather. Being under the deck meant they were away from the harsh conditions at sea. Over time, under the deck may have evolved into under the weather, used to describe feeling ill. Now that you know what it means and where it comes from, how do you use under the weather in everyday conversation? Here are a few examples. I won't be coming to the party tonight. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Jane is under the weather, so she decided to stay in bed today. I think the change in climate has left me feeling under the weather. English is rich with idiomatic expressions to describe health conditions. Here are a few similar to under the weather. Feeling off color also means not feeling well, not up to par, derived from golf, meaning not feeling or performing as well as usual. Out of sorts, general feeling of discomfort or illness. Understanding phrases like under the weather not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insights into the cultural and historical backgrounds of the English language. I hope this video clears up any confusion and adds a fun, idiomatic expression to your repertoire. Stay healthy and not under the weather. Thanks for watching and see you in our next language adventure.